tall. If anyone is watching in, on YouTube, how is it going everyone? Welcome to a completely new playthrough that is definitely not the continuation of the same stream. So, <laughs> first of all I probably should change the title. Uh, this should be trying out the first DLC. The first DLC. Let's try it. Um, for me, the choice is always Meme Mari. Next president, Meme Mari. Damn. Really like Meme Mari, huh? Even the food. God damn it, Kyle. Alright, so, this is the first time I'm gonna be playing the first DLC. I only saw a little bit of the first DLC. I, like, differently from the main game, I only seen this, like, in one screen. And I don't remember anything else other than that, because I didn't even think I seen it other than that. So, this is gonna be even more semi-blind than the main game. Mo like, this is more close to a blind run. <laughs> Damn. Mega Mario 2. God damn it, Kyle. Okay, so... Oh, I should focus on the game. There we go. Uh, so, other babes. Damn, it's called New Babe Plus. And then you have one that is called Ghost of the Babe. That, that That's the one that I've seen mostly everything about. So yeah, let's go for New Babe Plus. Sacrifice crown, remain, remain a king. Wait, why will I sacrifice my crown? Does anyone know the difference on this? Why will I want to not be a king anymore? It, does this has any gameplay? Okay, I don't want you to answer exactly what it does if you don't want to. I want you to answer me if this has any gameplay impact. Is this gonna impact the gameplay or is this only gonna impact me visually? Because why will I want to sacrifice my fucking crown? I like it. I earn it. Right? Anyone knows? Someone? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, if it was for me, without knowing what to expect, I will definitely choose a visual. I want to remain a fucking king, god damn it. Why would I want to stop being a king? Give me the fucking crown. Keep your crown and find your own way to the other world? What do you mean? Find your own way? Is this some metaphorical bullshit, or is this trying to tell me that... <laughs> Dark Souls? It seems like it, right? Hmm... How should I interpret this? Uh... Well... I don't know. Should I... I'm gonna... Yeah, sure, yes! Legend has it, there is a smoking hot babe at the top. So... Wait, this is the same place. <laughs> you need to go out to bar... Bargain Borg to find a way. Oh, I see. So that's why. That's why Bargain Borg seems so familiar. It's not like I watched the main game. I watched this game. This DLC. It's just that Bargain Borg, like everything up until Bargain, Bargain Borg, whatever it's called, it's the same. So, can you tell me what's the difference, uh, Titan? Uh, between keeping the crown or not is there any gameplay difference or is it just you know the the crown like visually I would like to know I 
I mean, I'm pretty sure it's only a visual difference, but you never know. The second loop. Damn. We're about to find to fight the the lost sinner but with fire in the walls, huh? Interesting. Yeah, and before you say Dark Souls 2 dance game, yeah, fuck you. Dark Souls 2 is a good game. Well, I might be a king, but I still like the the sound of the of the <laughs> of the ground. At the end you fight Hibachi D. Count me in. So, assuming that this is the same as the base game up until Bargrainsburg, let me resume the music, because this is gonna be a fucking chore. There we go. I don't think so. I think if you sacrifice Kron, you will have started a new world. You mean that I will have... That I will have started since the DLC? Like, I wouldn't have to do all of this again? Is that what you mean? Or not? Well, I mean, if you say that there is no difference, then yeah, I don't think that will be the case. Well, I mean, that's fine. If there is no difference, then I'm gonna keep my crown for sure. Like, come on, dude. Why will I even give up my crown? I see. Dark Souls 2 is the worst Dark Souls. You are the worst Dark Souls. What about that? How does that make you feel? I'm just kidding, Kyle. You're the most pervert Dark Souls I've seen. That was not a full sham, by the way. That's not supposed to be a full sham. Damn it. Come on, I got to the top of the tower. I can do this sorry ass tree. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, this is a pretty fitting song for this place. Because this song plays during your rush through a forest. And before you fight a pretty peculiar character. Colossal Drain. So yeah, up until here everything is the same. So, am I supposed to follow this white, uh, whatever it's supposed to be? Maybe. Oh, and here comes. Yes! This theme is beautiful. Sacrificing the crowns teleports you to the DLC. So it's basically easy modo. Is that what you are implying? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I will have done it maybe, but I don't know. I like the crown. It looks nice. Falling like that also feels nice. <laughs> Easy modo? Eh? Scoring TD. Fuck TD and fuck scoring. No, that's a, 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 a way higher sham than, I, than what I'm doing right now. Has to be way higher than that. Scoring 
scoring no bombs. Fuck your scoring and long life no bombs. You fucking heretic. And this song is such a fucking banger. No bombs are brain dead only for Ketsui players. Or does that make you feel Ketsui player? No, I, I remember that jump. You don't have to do it from the edge, you have to do it from the right. I do remember it now. Okay, and that jump has to be a little bit lower. Basically relearning the game. <laughs> here yeah if you stand a bit more to right you can full shump yeah it seems like that's the case I didn't know it was full shump worthy but it seems it is Damn it. I have kind of at least I'm not a Toho fan, damn, that's the biggest denial sentence that I read since uh, Yami said that he wasn't a weave. I have kinda score running Lenin 1. Damn, a true masochist, huh? I wonder if and this toner is gonna say something new. Alright, maybe not. Okay, maybe he's fucking dead. That's pretty sad. Can't believe the old man fucking died. No. Well, that's fine. Okay, that's not fine. Damn it. Fucking stoner. Can't believe I fucked up such an easy jump. I mean, not the one to the house, but the one after that. Well, we're back in the woods. Good shit. You can stop falling like a dumbass now. That'll be great. It just doesn't say anything first time you get to him. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes more sense. And this is gonna be a pretty calm song. It's gonna be a pretty calm song only because the song that comes right after is one of the most intense songs in in the whole Lenin series. Well, no, a, a name cast off from the edge is also pretty intense. I have a question before I go for scoring. Should I want to clear the game that I want to score? I will do that. I don't know if you want to do it, but I will definitely do it. Lunatic one coin clear? Depending wh what difficulty you want to score in. Ah, 
Because if it's lunatic, then yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want a lunatic score, then I will obviously recommend you to one coin clear lunatic first. So this can be a full shump. Nice, interesting. That's gonna be pretty useful to know. Oh, there you are. No, dumbass. She is with me. Get fucked. I'm just kidding, she's also gone. I don't know where she went. Maybe she got bored. That's fine. There we go. Okay, at least we're here at the house. Which is still doesn't mean much, because you have... There is also, like, one more... Wait, False King's Keep? No, that, that, that was still the name of the thing. Wait, what are you holding on your mouth, little boy? You're getting your sword please ready, I know, right? We are we all are. That was not a wall bounce, god damn it. And here it comes. <laughs> hey, come on, we didn't even get to the sword bliss part. Still need to wait a little bit. God damn it, Riemann. Oh, and this might be really bad. If I fall here, this is gonna be incredibly anticlimactic. Uh, fuck. Okay. Well, at least I fell there. Which is not that big of a deal. Gotcha. Wait. Oh, never mind. Okay, so where is that Domas going? Pretty sure I got a yeah. Royal visiting. Yeah. Royal visiting. Now the only problem is that the only thing I have to pay is my fucking crown. Is that enough? Probably not. That's a really good deal. But... No. Sorry dude, we are going through an inflation processing the kingdom. We can't afford that shit. Any rich friends? Yeah, I have an old guy at the bottom of the stage. He's probably rich. Rich in diseases, that is. You should be glad I didn't show my Glock to you. Because I will have done it. The only reason why I didn't do it is because chat is a little bit calm, so I don't see that much issue in allowing it. But my Glock is always ready. Watch out. Yeah, my falling is always ready too. Both of them are ready. Skyrocketing? 
I'm also skyrocketing in this game, though I'm not a skyrocketing up there, I'm skyrocketing down. You will see when can jump into the DLC. Alright, thanks. I will try to pay attention. Oh, uh, that's too high. Damn it. Ah, uh, too high. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Oh, uh, and this shamb was a fucking pain in the ass. It's still a pain in the ass. Good to know. That... That is one of the worst shumps in the game. Like, that shump fucking sucks. I'm aware that there are gonna be even worse shumps. It's after this. I see. Well, I wonder why that's not a fall. Maybe because I'm touching walls. Or ceilings, I should say. Though they act like walls. Come on, dude! Why didn't you land in any of the platforms above? Fucking dumbass. I risk no reward. What you mean no reward? There is a smoking hot babe. That's the reward. Of course that's too high for you. God damn it. At least I have Yaorochi's theme to make me company. Yeah, I know, right? When we have all those Tohos, why would we need them? That's true. But what can I say? Sometimes it's never enough. Whose song was that? It's never enough. Was that an Eminem song? I think it was a Dr. Dre Eminem song, right? It's never enough. I don't remember. Oh, finally. Nice. Oh, shit. The bird is ready to suck me in. Okay, okay. We need some tension here. We need the tension of the moment. So what is this bird gonna do? Okay, I'm assuming that I gotta go there. Alright. Hey bird. Well, you're not a bird. Who the fuck are you? What do you mean a pitfall delusion? There were two big things that I'm pretty sure were not a delusion. You're just jealous because you weren't there. Okay. No, I don't think wall bounce is gonna work. Interesting, I didn't remember this part of the DLC when I saw it. I thought that the continuation of Bargrainburg was, uh, you know, the DLC, but I thought that you always return to Bargainburg. 
that's a pretty big fall. Bright Crown Woods. Alright. God damn it. Can you shum there? Or is that too much to ask? There we go, fucking asshole. I didn't... I can say that I didn't miss the snow. That's for sure. Definitely did not miss the snow. And a lot of these shump are gonna be incredibly harsh just for that. For those who don't know, you cannot move normally in the in the snow. You have to shump to move. So obviously, when you see me shumping like an idiot, idiot, like this, it's because you have no other option, you can't walk. Is that how you say idiot in Russian? <laughs> Nice, good shit. Here in Spanish it's the same, but you have to add an A at the end. It say uh, idiota, that's how we say it. It's pretty nice. Although it's not a word that you will normally use. I mean, in Spanish you have so many insults. So many colorful and beautiful insults that a word like idiot is the least thing you want to use. It's such a... Such a calm insult. No, no, it ends with an A, not with an O. You also have a lot of insult. Yeah, I'm aware. That's the reason why I always say that, you know, Argentina and Russia have a lot in common. One of them is the, the ability to be able to insult like a king. Only Russian I know it's Sopo on a pier. Did I just say something really bad that is worth to get banned for? Or was that safe? I wouldn't know. I'm assuming those are the ones that Kyle says. Maybe I should do a full shump there instead of trying to do a, a medium shump. I don't know if it will work. Oh, okay. That, that makes more sense. What's up here? Oh, I remember these assholes. There is actual fairies in this game. I remember them now. This is how they look like. Can I even get there without falling, I wonder? I don't really think so. Oh, we can. But this fairy doesn't seem to give a shit about our presence. The Embolka alphabet? What? <laughs> You know, reminds me of the guys that say I don't speak burrito. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. No, you fell too much. You know, if I gotta be honest, I know an expression in Russian that I don't think is that common, or maybe it's common, it's just that not many people know it, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, Riemann, because I might be wrong, but there is an expression in Russian that it's Nado uh, Pole right? I don't know if I pronounced that correctly or not. 
But it means something like break the floor, dancing or something like that. Right? Is that true? Or is that just something... I, I've been bamboozled. And I just did something really bad. I don't know. Only Riman can tell me right now. Damn, it seems like I said something really bad and now Riman is trying to get an army after me. It's just shenanigans that shows how fucked up wars can you make. <laughs> That's Russian f <laughs> Damn it! Even... Even the Russian language knows. Now I'm obviously just kidding. I, I'm not registered as that. I was... <laughs> I was gonna say yet, but that would be pretty fucked up. No, forget about what I should say. I, I'm not uh, uh, that bad of a person, alright? I'm just a streamer that likes Toho, nothing more. Although it's funny to choke around with those things, but you know this is Twitch. If you choke around with those things, some Twitch mod might take it, might take it seriously and be like, Dude, you're out. And I will not appreciate that. Well, I should abandon the bird. Should I care about the bird? Or maybe a better question is, should I care much about the bird? I don't know. Fuck the bird, though. We had Spanish in 7, 9 grand. The only thing I remember is Hola, Michelle. <laughs> and of course, the last one is... Something that everyone learns at some point, huh? Yeah, it, it is to be expected, yes. Yeah. You're worse, you're a guy that does no bombs. God damn it. Yeah, but at least Twitch can ban me for that. Yet. That is. That's bad. No, damn it, that bounce sucks. Why do you have to bring the snow back? God damn it. Why should you have to hurt me like this? People in Discord sent me a pic of a Yoshi with a Mexican hat and a taco when they saw I could write Spanish. <laughs> Damn. Ah, uh, that's great. If you want a ring that makes so you can walk in snow, you should take the bird. What you mean by take the bird? The bird fucking runs away every time that I try to get him. But yeah, getting some rings that allow me to walk on, on snow will be really, really useful. Though that little shit doesn't seem like it wants to be catch. I mean, I don't blame him. Imagine if a guy in full plate armor with a crown and huge ass boots and also a cape, because why not, came jumping at you. I will also be scared the shit out of me. A funny yellow hat, yeah, I, I meant to say that. A funny yellow hat. Wait. Hmm. The problem with that chump is that... Yeah, gotta do it like that. Okay. So I should take the bird. Oh, I thought I was gonna wall bounce. I didn't expect to sh hit my head with the ceiling. God damn it. I also did not expect to, to hit my head with the ceiling right there either. God damn it. <sighs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. This is just the beginning. Also, considering the lack of music, 
We should get back to Yaorochi, alright? Like, come on, Yaorochi is begging me to come back. Oh, and the chorus was about to start, even. Best part of the song, just like that. You have to follow him to the near top, then jump all the way down. Alright. Well, that's a problem. I don't think that's a good idea. But I might be wrong. I mean, falling on purpose is probably gonna be a bad idea. Yeah, but the problem is that jumping in the snow fucking sucks. Especially when there is no uh, wind. Because when there was wind, I could basically move a lot easier, because I didn't even need to calculate my jump so uh, precisely, right? You can get hit at purpose in a score run. Yeah, but this is not a score run, dude. This is a survival run. You don't get hit on purpose in a survival run. Or do you? Well, maybe if you're a masochist. Which, considering that you're a shoot em up player, you pretty much are, so... Yeah, that's definitely not a full jump. If you play Mari B in DDC, it's less like getting get on, getting hit on purpose and more than you get you run out of bombs. When you run out of bombs, you're gonna get hit because you know you get hit. In EOS Discord, you need to suicide to get bombs. Damn. Wait, you mean in game or in real life? <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? Twitch, don't ban me for that. That was just a dark humor show, okay? It was not meant to be serious. God damn it, Twitch. S4 is smash bomb running to bullet repeat. Oh, because of all the books. That's right, the books in, in that game, they resist a lot. No, don't do that. Did you see stage 4? Oh! Well, in DDC, yeah, because there is a lot of bullets on stage 4. Tch, fuck. Damn it. See, that's the problem with the fucking snow. I can't move where I wanted to move because I needed to short jump. But the jump was so short that I couldn't even make it. Oh, here should come the extra stage theme, right? No, the Tasoken theme, I almost forgot. Lenin 2 has a true final boss, I completely forgot. It's the true final boss theme. Damn it. <laughs> You're not supposed to hit your head, dude. I know that you have a crown, and you want to utilize it somehow, but hitting your head, I don't think that's the best way to utilize it, you know? I like how the... 
the image for the video is literally just a socket with a black background. What the fuck? See, if I land here... Oh, it's pretty hard to get out of it. I don't even know exactly... Because if I wall bounce... You have to wall bounce from a pretty specific point. So for example here, I'm pretty sure you can wall bounce from there. Fuck. Damn it. It's always pretty nice to hear how high pitched the Tasoken theme is. I mean, it makes sense. It's the fucking true last boss. It's all or nothing. My Lunatic won't go here. I go to stage 4 with two lives and go to bots with my Matt's lives. Yeah. That's pretty much how it works with, with Marisa B. Marisa B is fucking bastard. I don't remember the attack being that long. Because obviously this song plays during the true last boss attack, but I don't remember the attack being as long as the song. Maybe it's just being looped or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's not. Wait, I think I just realized this. That's not a wall, that was my problem. I thought that was a fucking wall, that's why I didn't consider jumping there. Fuck. Well, good to know. <laughs> Tree head, come on dude, how am I supposed that's a fucking background decoration bullshit? It's impossible. Oh, you're not supposed to jump there. Okay, gotcha. Damn, and the song just ended. Oh, so it didn't loop, but I don't remember it be three minutes. Oh, and this song is also amazing. The extra stage. The extra stage is... Definitely one of the best uh, stage songs there is, that's for sure. You mean the other way around? Yeah. Yeah, basically I didn't know there was a wall there, so I couldn't do the jump. Ah, uh, too short. At least I can walk here. I don't know why I would want to walk there, but whatever. You can. Yeah, knowing that, that's so much easier. Holy shit. Now the problem is, what do I do here? Um, what happens if I try to go from here? No, I think this is gonna make it harder for me. Yeah, it's gonna make it harder because doing that jump... No, I'm probably supposed to go here, but... Ah, uh, god damn it. It's actually not a hard jump, it's just that I kind of fucked it up. That's the ceiling. You don't want to hit your head with the damn ceiling. But you can position yourself a little bit better here. Oh, but I can do this. 
And what's up here? Damn it! Wait, let me analyze this. Oh, I, I think I get it. You're supposed to go here, <laughs> but this shit is gonna fuck me up. Or not. I'm pretty sure that's where the bird is, right? That little shit in the middle is the bird. That's the place the bird will drop a thing that you will trade to get the ring. Okay. So what did I get? Did I get diamonds? I don't even know what I just picked up. But, I mean, sure. I don't mind. Nice. Looks like I picked uh, kneecaps, right? Diamond kneecaps are at that. Or were they always there? Oh, a silver coin? So the kneecaps were always there. Maybe they were. I just never noticed. Come on. The real problem is that when you say get to the top, you mean getting to the top of the DLC and then falling all the way back, or you just mean getting to the top of this area. Because if it's the top of the DLC, look at inventory if you press escape. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's this. Inventory. Oh, you're supposed to. Yeah, you got a silver coin and a crown. Huh. Interesting. Good shit. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with it. I guess we will figure it out. Top of DLC? Well... Yeah, that fucking sucks if I gotta do that. I don't know if it's a good trade. But yeah, I think I understand what's gonna happen. Remember that there is a vertical leap right, like on the right side of this. I'm pretty sure that's the fall that Titan is talking about. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, and this song that comes right here is a pretty emotional song. A pretty good one. It's mostly emotional. I mean, yes, the song itself is emotional, but the most emotional thing is that it belongs to a character that was completely destroyed by the creator. That's the saddest part about this song. Oh, come on, dude. And sadly, I don't have any NPC telling me how much I suck balls. Oh, that's bad. Don't even have anyone making fun of my sorry ass. God damn it. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna find some NPC that's gonna make fun of my sorry ass eventually.
How did I do this jump, by the way? Oh, like that. Okay, remember not to do full jumps there. If you do a full jump, it's gonna be completely useless. Because you're gonna hit a ceiling eventually. Well, at least failing these jumps only brings you down here. Which is not bad. I mean, not that bad. So I got the silver coin, so that means that I can focus again on jumping, but what the fuck is this? Oh, I'm supposed to jump on there. Oh, this is a pretty bad position. Okay, there we go. No, there... No! Damn it. Of course, that had to happen. God damn it. Making fun of your ass. <laughs> Damn leader man. Really? That jump was not enough? Alright. My friend got the ring and he was so mad at the beginning, but now he's so happy that he got it for 2 DLC. Oh, because you get to keep it? Interesting. That's an interesting one. Well, I mean... I don't know, I will see. I mean, obviously this part is gonna be made a lot easier if I had something that would allow me to walk on snow. But yeah, we will see. I still am obviously nowhere near the top, so I can't have an opinion until I, I get there. No, oh, that's... fuck. Really? How is that not enough? That's fine, that's fine, don't worry about it. Dude, can you stop hitting the edges? I will appreciate it. it. Seems like this douchebag doesn't want to stop hitting the damn edges. Keep it cool. No ring? What you mean no ring? Are you trying to imitate Bravi here? Doing sentences that I cannot understand just so I ask what the fuck you mean? It takes long to get, so I wouldn't do it. I see, I see. Hmm, I don't think this should be enough. Let me... No. No, 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 no. There we go. Is this a full jump? Yes, it is. At least I can understand, bro. Yeah, because you're as much of a stoner as he is. Of course you understand him. Both of you speak the same language. Oh, that jump is... Wait, if I do a full champ... Alright. If you do a full champ, that's what happens. Angelic and ASM. Is there a difference? I'm pretty sure those are the same language. Are you sure?
No, yes. Damn. Are you stone yummy? Can you share a little bit? Oh, fucking nice. This is size. And there is a weird person right there. The colossal dungeon. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We need some tension here. We haven't been here yet. So this is a new guy. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, but these shumps are whack. Because I have to shump to there and then to the left. I don't think I can do this shump from here. Uh, no, there's no way you can do this shump from there. Ah, uh, fuck. Ooh, and it's pretty slippery. Sure, friend, it's legal here. Yeah, sadly, I can't say the same about here. Well, I mean, I say sadly, but I wouldn't smoke anyways. What do you mean by new shumpers? Are you watching? Are you seeing this thing I have right there? I don't think I'm a new shumper, bitch. Okay, so let's see. There is, there is something there. Up there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look at the right side, at that block at the right side, there is an opening. Now the problem is that that opening is pretty small, I don't know if I can fit there, just like that. Maybe I can try. Hmm. Maybe I cannot. Not from here at least. Alright, so it seems that whatever that opening is, is not for now, so I have to go to the left. Um, damn, that sham looks so dangerous, holy shit. Whew. Calm down. There we go. Okay. Calm down. Can speak Swedish? <laughs> nice. I thought it was legal. No, they they wanted to make it legal, but it's not. It's anything but legal. Uh, but obviously, that's not gonna stop you, right? I mean, what? Do you think the cops don't smoke? I mean, here's the thing about Argentina and South America in general. If something is illegal, not n that's not gonna stop anyone. <laughs> I mean, I, I know you can say that from every country, right? Because, you know, there's gonna be lawbreakers in, in every country, but still, here... If you're doing something illegal, nobody's gonna give a shit, not even the cops. Unless you do it right in front of them, like... Oomph, right in front of a cop, yeah, if you do that, you're probably gonna get into trouble, but you know... <laughs> most of the people are not stoned enough to do that. Okay. So I'm supposed to go to the right. Nice. Uh, now what? Okay, full shump to the left. Ah, oh, this is so fucking scary, dude. This place is pretty scary. And it keeps going, huh? Nope, not like that. Oh, from here? Oh, I see. Uh, why you make me do that, dude? That's a little bit painful. Uh, that sucks. Are your cops corrupt? 
I think calling them corrupt will be a compliment. <laughs> yeah, uh, they are way more than corrupt. They are criminals themselves. So yeah. <laughs> As I always say, cops are armored criminals around here. Oh, you know. That's how it works, sadly. Obviously, I'm not proud of that, but that's how it is. Obviously, yes, not all of them, okay? Yes, uh, that, that that's something that is needless to say, but yes, not all of them are like that, but yeah, a, big, a pretty big portion of them are like that, all right? Sadly. Okay, okay, calm down. That's only there. You didn't lose a lot of progress. Sadly, you have to redo this shit. <sighs> you know, I was pretty close. I was pretty close to get out of there, but you know, not close enough. Okay, might as well bring back the fucking uh, Saragi Maru theme by that point. Sweden is one of the least corrupt countries in the world. Yeah, I know that there is a lot of countries that, you know, they actually have a good authority taking care of them, but. Yeah, most of South American countries uh, are not like that. Sadly. Ah, that's too high. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. calm down, boy. Damn it, that's still too high. Wait, what? Why is this song here? This is the final boss of Lenin Tree. Why will this be next to Saragi Maru's theme? Well, I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, l let's leave it. Why not? I mean, I don't mind. I obviously don't. In fact, this is one of my favorite themes as well. Fuck. Yes, yeah, sir, please. Does it say something here? Yeah, it says something. What does it say? God damn it, I wanna read. Damn. Alright, seems like the birds are dangerous. I forgot. Oh, here. I really want to get at the top of this part, because I'm pretty sure that at the top of this part, even if it's not a full checkpoint, there is something that heavily resembles a checkpoint. But I need to get up there. That's the problem, right? Obviously. Have you got in any situation where you have done something legal, illegal and got away, got punished for it or any other situation because of corruption? Um, 
No, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, what I do see in terms of corruption is that there is a house or a building more than a house that is illegally occupied right like one corner away from my house. And obviously the police is with them. The police goes there to, you know, get some money in exchange of letting them be there. Now, obviously, I don't mind someone illegally occupying a building if they are, you know, good neighbors. The problem is that they are drug dealers and thieves. So, obviously, that's not good. I, I mean, needless to say, that's not good. So, yeah. But the police is with them. That's the only situation that I can recall myself. Obviously, if you ask anyone else, they will probably have thousands of stories about police corruption, sadly. Calm down. Damn it, you're not supposed to do that jump so high. Because if you do it too high, you fall. A Argentinian tourist tried to bribe the cops and it doesn't work that way. Oh! Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, obviously because they are used to the cops being nothing more than, as I said, armored criminals, right? So yeah, it's a little bit sad, but that's the reality. That's a little bit higher. A little bit even higher than that, okay. No, don't do no, that. I can feel it now, Mr. Krabs. The worst part is that getting back there is so fucking dangerous. Like, holy shit, it is. If you do a higher than necessary jump, you're back to the bottom. Well, not necessarily back to the bottom, though. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's not like I did not expect it to happen. Really? Of all the places you could land, you land right in the space between platforms. Oh, uh, you... That jump is also pretty hard. Nice. Is it not a funny game? Yeah, it's a pretty funny game. It's a pretty funny game for sure. You know what would be even funnier? Beating it. Now that will be a good choke. The problem is that that choke is too hard. Okay. The 
it was a full jump to the left, yes. A loot. Oh, you fucking Kyle, of course you're gonna interpret it like that. Why not? Wait, now that I'm thinking about what if I wall jump? No, if I wall jump, that, that's a terrible idea if I wall jump there. It's probably gonna be a terrible idea. I can try, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall if I try to wall jump here. Okay, never mind. Wall jumping is actually what you're supposed to do. Nice. Boot to the head. <laughs> I myself rage quit after like two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, rage quitting is definitely pretty tempting, but you know, you gotta understand, I'm a Toho player, so this kind of masochism is kind of like ingrained into my brain. So it's like I can't feel the pain anymore. Yeah, yeah, I, I say something really as she wake me up inside and everything. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Oh, now what? Where will I want to get down here? What does this even achieve? Well, there is a letter there, maybe I should read it. Incident report. After we came back from the evacuation, prisoner 205 appeared to be in terror. We might put him in one of the 500 cells to shake him up a bit. As usual, chances for recovery are low. Alright, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but. Sounds cool. Now, how the fuck do I get back up like this? Yeah, that works. Toho corrupts your brain? Yeah, pretty much. Calm down. Uh, even my back is starting to hurt by like, how much... Like, how tense I am. Wait, what was this jump again? Oh, I remember. It was a wall... Yeah, like that. Something like that. Oh, dude! You can be fucking serious right now. Maybe I should leave the part above this, uh, you know, winter cell or whatever you want to call it. Maybe we should leave this for the next stream, though. I really, really want to beat this section. But I feel like if I keep going with my low stamina, it's gonna be even worse. And also, let's calm down the music just so I can maybe, maybe concentrate a little bit. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be an issue. It, it, this is getting pretty tense. Because, you know, there is like at least five jumps here that when you miss them, it's over. Like, you go down. I mean, obviously, you don't go exactly to the bottom of, of the DLC, but it's enough to kill your motivation okay. damn it, it really sucks like what the fuck do, does this game not have music in any other place other than the final screen like I understand that you want to create a tense atmosphere, but you know that there are songs that can do that, right? You don't need to have complete silence.
But you know, I don't know. I know that, you know, since this game is clearly... Well, clearly done for streamers. I mean, when you boot up the game in the, in the main menu, you have a, a big notice basically saying how you can... Uh, like how you are supposed to capture the game in OBS. So obviously this game was made for streaming in mind, so maybe that's why it doesn't have soundtrack at all. Maybe it, it, it is expected for someone to have a song request or some shit like that. But it's still dumb. It's especially dumb, as I mentioned earlier today, that this game sells you a soundtrack. Like, you can buy the soundtrack separately for no reason, because there barely isn't any soundtrack to buy here. Oh, uh, come on, that was a perfect jump. Okay, that wasn't a perfect jump, though. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know. I'm gonna reach the 4 hours mark, and if I reach the 4 hours mark and I'm still here, I'm gonna leave it here. Because, you know... My back... is starting to complain a little bit. You know, when you get so tense, obviously your pain, like your back starts being in pain a little bit. Especially the lower part of your back. And no, I'm not talking about the ass, I'm literally talking about the lower spine. Your ass also starts hurting a little bit, but you know, that's secondary. <sighs> okay, now this chump, this chump is a son of a bitch. There we go. But even if that wasn't enough, there is a still those three um, bird cages up there that are a pain in the ass that's obviously a problem secondary I don't mean that kind of secondary Remember, come on dude nice I like hitting my head with the ceiling <laughs> Dude, you know, right? Yeah, no, but you definitely need music if you want to play this game or maybe not play like, you know, maybe you don't give a shit But if you want to stream it, you definitely need music It's just that I'm about to end the stream, so I'm not gonna bother with it yet But you know what was this? Oh, wall bounce to the right, and then wall bounce to the left. Short hop, and this is the real problem. Because of that, precisely because of that. Okay. I definitely need some music here because I'm gonna go insane. Let's just put one last theme here. Maybe we can use Fumikado's theme. It was Fumi uh, Fumikado's theme was in there somewhere. So we can use that. Sadly, I will have to adjust the volume because it's probably gonna be pretty loud. Wonder if that's fine. No, that's probably pretty loud. Let me Should be fine there, no, still a little bit loud. I think it should be fine there. This theme is fantastic, by the way. I guess it's a good theme to end the, the stream. And this might be my last attempt for the day, because, I mean... If I fall again, it's probably gonna be past the four hour mark. This theme is also one of the longest Lenin themes, right? There are not many Lenin themes that are this long.
I feel like that's a perfect champ and it still doesn't work. God damn it. It's like it's enough to hit the very edge of the bird cage. Like just enough. Just enough to piss you off. And also it doesn't help that this fucking asshole is in here laughing. Isn't Fumikado your favorite character on Lennon? Uh, Riman? Or I remember something like that. I think Fumikado was someone's favorite character, but I don't remember who. Or maybe I'm just uh, imagining it. That, that's a more possible outcome. No? It wasn't? Well, maybe I'm just imagining it. Oh, come on, dude. So what's your favorite? Oh, of course, Klaus was your favorite character. Never mind. But I I really remember someone saying that Fumikado was their favorite character, and I don't remember who. And there can be many people, cause who the fuck gives a shit about Lenin? Right? Not many people do. Spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> also, this is one of those songs that get more high pitch as it goes on. That was not supposed to be a full sham, damn it. Although I technically got the order wrong, Fumikado is the boss that appears right before the boss that we should listen the theme of, which was Shion. They were th those who are wondering. This is Lenin Tree soundtrack. If anyone gave a shit, and again. Lenin fanbase, if you think there is a fanbase that is small, it's because you haven't seen the Lenin fanbase. You can probably count Lenin fans with only two hands, and that's being generous. Fanbase is a myth. You're right. I'm sorry. It's actually a myth. It doesn't really exist. It's a legend that was spread at some point, and we think it's real, but it's just a myth. It's just like Lenin 5. Lenin 5 is also a myth. Now the good thing is that for the next stream, I could pretty much put the whole Lenin 4 uh, soundtrack and it will be the duration of the whole stream. Because Lenin 4 has like 50 songs, right? Something ridiculous like that. Okay, this is gonna be the shit my last attempt for the day. Although I already passed the 4 hours mark, but... It's so addictive, cause I know I'm so close to get past this shitty... Uh, bird cage part. I don't even know how to call it. I don't remember the name, and the only way to read the name will be falling and going up again. And obviously, I don't wanna do that, right? And fanbase is as fake as Australia, damn. 
I don't know if there is any Aust Australian viewer here. I wonder. Damn it! Just do the damn wall... Wall bounce. Fucking asshole. God. Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do a wall jump. Oh, or maybe the wall jump was with this. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Uh, I really don't know how hard this second, sorry, not second, this first DLC is gonna be. But I can already see the pain. I can see it, I can picture it in my face. So yeah, let's just leave it here with this dumb ass uh, old man or whatever the, that asshole is supposed to be. Uh, this is enter, okay. We go to save and exit. Yes, I am indeed sure. And before the, boat, the two songs overlap, let me close that. There we go. Alright. So. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure. Oh, and we got all of the achievements on Steam. Off the beaten path. Okay, no, never mind. That was the only one I, I saw that I got. That's fine. Anyways, I want to thank everyone a lot for watching and for, you know, enjoying me being a complete masochist. But don't worry, the masochism is indeed gonna continue. You don't have to worry about it. It's definitely... It's here to stay, let's just say that. Um, so yeah, damn, there's someone playing Toho 10. And it says be right back. Nice! I really like that. Okay. Oh, there's someone playing Hisoten Soku, oh, but it's in Portuguese. Uh, well. Damn it. I guess we're gonna leave empty handed without a raid. That's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, Brazilian Soku, I know, right? That's been fun to see you stream. I'm glad you like it, and thanks a lot for hanging out, uh, Titan. Uh, and again, obviously, thanks everyone a lot for hanging out, and I'll be seeing you on the next stream, so take care, everyone.